Hi, my name is Frank Lindner. I am responsible for the development and um, especially during the last few months it was all about realizing our third prototype stage. We found the point where we said okay the, the challenges that we had we have a solution and we want to bring it to serial production so we have to bring it to the next level of prototype that needs to be a very high quality um, and to make it serial representative. And this was also the point where we look for partners and we choose uh, out of our network the partners that could provide serial representative quality and HLH was for sure one of them. Our stem, our handlebar is a very, very complex part where we thought, okay, we have to split it in four or five different pieces, make them individually by machining, uh, make some jigs and fixtures to make the welding process to put everything together and later on clean it with the grinding because at the end the part has to be powder coated and we have uh, very high requirements to the surface. And uh, after some some discussion with HLH, we decided to go ahead with the metal 3D printing where we had in the past not so good experience on because of a wide range of tolerances. But um, in this time it worked out very good with HLH and um, it helped us a lot on realizing cost effective and um, in a short time the very complex uh, stem and handlebar area. And our tail part especially is a quite big part um, where we thought how we can realize it. We thought here about different processes that also would have involved some kind of tooling. At the end uh, we could realize it with the uh, SLS process even if the part was quite big. So um, here we got with HLH a company that has the right space to produce the parts of that size and they also came with a good quality that we just need to make a little bit of sanding and be able to paint it in the required colors. Yeah, one, one of the challenges also that we had, um, even if it's a small part, was our tail light. So it has to be uh, transparent and it, uh, the color matching should be, should be quite well. And uh, for sure you have to see the LEDs behind and we made a lot of research also on this one. We found specific companies that are specialized in, in light development, um, but the costs were really high that we, the quotes or the feed that we got from, from these companies to realize um, the light um, prototype. So, also, as we were in discussion with James on the other components, we also said, okay, what about lights? Can you help us also on the light? And um, here we found a good cost-effective solution um, with the SLA printing that was directly um, also painted at HLH in the requested color. And uh, it worked out pretty well for us. And I hope you can also see it in the video.